Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore the data associated with the most popular breakfast sandwiches in each state. But first, let's start the season off right by donating $1,000 to the American Autoimmune Related Disease Association. AARDA is dedicated to the eradication of autoimmune diseases, the alleviation of suffering, and the socioeconomic impact of autoimmunity through fostering and facilitating collaboration in education, public awareness, research, and patient services in an effective, ethical, and efficient manner. Please join us in giving at AARDA.org. Thank you for being your mythical best and for being here for the kickoff of a brand new season, the Big 2 0. Yeah. I'm still feeling it. I'm still positive. Why would you not be positive? Because it was a blowout, man. Because I am now the gentleman parfait. What is it? I think it's like the perfect gentleman. <laughs> the parfait gentleman. But I think there's more of a parfait thing happening. It, those are those are berries and It's berries. ironic that I'm not wearing dockers. All right, Stevie, and let's by hear the, the way, first one. No one will believe us. But legitimately, she didn't say not a sponsor. Dockers was not a sponsor. That was my mom was just talking about Dockers. Dockers. We were not paid by Dockers. We have not been paid by Dockers. Maybe we will be, yeah. but that wasn't the point. That's a shame. It's, that it's, seems it's, like it's a, a real shame, reach really. for Dockers. That that was our pitch. Like I don't, I don't. Yeah. That's why we had yeah. to do it in the way that we do it because if yeah. we pitched right. that to Dockers, they would be like, I, So now we uh, are working with Dockers. Uh, we're using this as a pitch for doctors, is, is doctors. what we're saying. I think we're using this as a pitch to other brands to show them if they just mm. let us loose and let us do what we want to. Yeah. Right? Mom won't shut up about it. We will get, it'll be better than what we have to do for the other brands. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you a breakfast item. You're going to guess which state it's the most popular in, and then we're going to switch things up. We're going to do it reverse. But we're starting with one of my favorites, the biscuit. Do you want to blind guess, or do you want uh, three states to choose from? Well, I think we need three states. I think you gotta give us three states, because I would think this is multiple states that this is the favorite in. Is it A, North Carolina, B, Oklahoma, or C, New Mexico? Biscuit is the most popular. I mean, Biscuitville. I love Biscuitville. Biscuitville is, North, is a North Carolina You know what base? I saw them advertising when I was back in North Carolina? Biscuitville had multiple uh, billboards advertising the bologna biscuit is back. Yeah, I've had it. You have? My problem with Biscuitville is uh, I'm just a scrambled eggs guy. It's like, and they do a bunch of just like fried egg, cracked egg. Yeah, like old school, like your grandma did it. I'm just saying it's not my preference, so uh, I haven't gotten many biscuits from there. Um, I actually have a different guess than what you might expect. I think it's Oklahoma. That's what I guess, too. Because it's like a cowboy thing. Biscuits are a cowboy thing? Yeah. Uh, it's North Carolina's. Oh, oh dang. So you, we can, thought... tell, tell me about this cowboy thing with biscuits, though. Like, like... Yeah, I don't know about it being yeah. a cowboy thing. You're on your own, buddy. I should erase well, all of maybe this. Bis maybe cornbread is a cowboy thing. I think I think beans in a kettle is a cowboy I thing. I was thinking that North Carolina was the correct answer, but you put it in there to throw us off, so that's why I went with Oklahoma. The other, definitely not New um, Mexico. The other state that it's the most popular breakfast item in is Tennessee. Tennessee, Tennessee and North biscuit. Carolina love those biscuits. They share a border. Man, we should we should have got that one right. Tofu scramble. We're really we're really going in the opposite direction Tofu now. Tofu scramble. Not North Carolina. Is it A Hawaii, B Washington, or C California? Tofu scramble. Hawaii, Washington, or California? Well, I live in California. I've never had this. Hmm. Hmm. The most popular? It is a little weird. This is a little weird, y'all. For this to be the best thing that you got. But, you got a guess? Yeah, I'm saying Washington. Me too. Yeah, you're in your way. Hey. Washington has a, they love the tofu scramble, huh? 
I was uh, reading, so the the um, site that we got this off of, the way that they determined the most popular, they compiled a list of popular options from Wikipedia's master list of American breakfast food foods, reviewed restaurants, breakfast menus for commonly served items, then turned to Google Trends and collected search volume data for each of the breakfast foods, which was then broken down regionally to produce these results. So that's that's where where it's happening. Okay. Well. So does that mean that it is tofu scramble or not tofu scramble? It mean it means you it means whatever that's you believe how they did in it. your heart. It means people in Washington are searching tofu scramble. We don't know yeah. if they're eating it or not. They're searching yeah. it. It's on their menus the most, etc. Yeah. Steak and Google eggs. Knows. That's the scary thing. Steak and eggs. Alabama. S N A. Nevada. S N E. <laughs> Texas. Say that again. Alabama, Nevada, Texas. Alabama, Nevada, Texas. Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. I feel pretty good about this one. It's got to be Texas, right? I went with Nevada, man. It's Nevada. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I was as I was saying Nevada. I was like, do I say Nevada? That happens well, a lot on this show where I, I say words in my head. I read words I, and I feel like I know how I say I them and then I say Texas, them out loud. Though, because of the, you know, the state. They, well, because of, yeah, beef. But here's the thing about Nevada. Most people think of Las Vegas, but over a year ago, I drove through like the northern part of Nevada and it is, it is another world. Like I think people from other places on earth, like other countries, Maybe people from Russia have like the experience of like driving through just desolate nothingness for long periods of time. But like people in Europe don't have that. Like you're gonna run into like civilization. Mm -hmm. But like the Western United States and Nevada specifically is so desolate. And then you get to these like old gold mining towns that just happen to still have some, oh. that was some granola that fell. Dropping. Have you're some people in there. now. And like I, they just seem like, you're gonna like go and like be in a mine all day? What do you wanna eat? Steak and eggs. That was my reasoning. Okay. Well. Just so you know. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast Here we go. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blind uh, guessing. Love a good breakfast I'm blind burrito. guessing. Okay. You can give the link the options if he needs them, but I'm blind guessing. I'll, I'll blind guess. This is us. If this is not California, then this game is rigged. I mean, it's not California. Okay, well then. I don't shoot. think it's rigged either. Okay. I think it's what do you know what California is? Can you tell us that later? But go ahead. Um, well, California is an option on this list. I just told you it was wrong. So you have oh. to choose between Oregon and Colorado. Oregon or Colorado. Oregon or Colorado. And California's on the list? Well, California wins, but now we're going for the okay, second. Okay, so Matt just told me what California is and I'm shook. Yeah, because it's not right. No, I love what California is. It's just, um, it's not. It, it's more. It's an elevated toast. avocado toast. No, no, no. It's an elevated Huevos. version of a. Okay, you're in the right. You're in the right and, uh, area. What are the chi um, Yep. Yep. Ch ch uh, ch ch Chicharrones. Chilaquiles. 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 That's California. Oh man. Those are very good. Are so good. They're not more popular than breakfast burritos. Um, I think right, you got your answer. They are Oregon on a Colorado? lot of menus yes. out here, though. A lot of brunch menus have chilaquiles. Okay. I I don't like it because the when I've gotten it, the the chips or whatever it's underneath are like soggy. I don't like a soggy. Yeah. Ooh, I'm switching my answer back to what? Okay. I went with Colorado. Oregon. I had Oregon, but I went back to Colorado. Is it supposed to be soggy? And I'm supposed to like that? Uh, there's supposed to be parts that are soggy and part parts that aren't. Um, yeah, it's I Colorado. The, I, I switched it to Colorado because you got all these people getting ready to go like do activities for the day. They're like, I just want a quick breakfast burrito. Just a little burrito. Man, I can just hold it in one hand while the other hand burrito. is like repelling. Except for that one breakfast burrito. That, I don't know why you didn't go with us that time in England. I was sleeping. Oh, yeah. Me and Stevie went out he, for breakfast. He like slept in or something. And yeah, for some Beauty reason, rest. I know we've talked about it probably on this show at least once. We made a decision to get a breakfast burrito in England. Don't 
do that. <laughs> just if you've had one in California, don't then try one in England. Mm. You can uh, say that about a lot of uh, dishes. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Quick reminder: I want to invite you to listen to our podcast, Ear Biscuits. Uh, two friends talking about life for a long time and talking about sex for a long time uh, in September. We're calling it September. How dare you? I know. Oh, Mom, Mom, I didn't know you were still listening. I'll be wearing my Dockers, though, and I'll keep them zipped up. Yeah, we're, we're exploring different aspects of sex and our experience with it on Ear Biscuits. Yeah. Bacon is a dish, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Bacon. Alaska, Pennsylvania, or Georgia? Alaska. What is the abbreviation for Alaska? Because A K is A L. No, A L is Alabama. A K is Alaska. Alaska. A R is Arkansas. Yep, I got it right. Uh, just bacon. Uh, I'm gonna go with Arkansas. You, you mean Alaska? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, Alaska's a I'm really, not going for Alaska. No, no, no. I think you should stick with Alaska because now that you've said it, it makes me think it's a good guess because it's just like... There's no pigs pig. in Alaska. Well, you don't have to have pigs. You just have to have bacon. It's it's a cured meat that stays really good in like cold climates. But I went with Pennsylvania. I'm not listening to you. It's Alaska. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so and there's two other you. states where it's the most popular. Nebraska. Because it's a cured meat. And Wisconsin. Yeah. It's like something you take with you into the frontier. Bacon isn't cured. Ham is cured. Bacon is, uh, uh, you can have cured bacon. Bacon is traditionally cured. It's just there's a lot Man, of- Man, I really want some bacon right Uncured now. bacon is popular now because curing is Whew. cancer. I'm not a fan of, when you order a side of bacon in California, in Los Angeles at brunch places, yeah. it- I always do it, by the way. Well, in your, your, if you're going to a brunch place, the bacon's going to be like pretty thick. And I'm not, I'm not a big, like thick, bacon fan. For me, I just, as long as it's crispy, I'm cool with it, so I'll just specify crispy bacon. Yes. Make it crispy. That's a good plan. And then it's kinda like, if it's real thick, they'll still have, they'll just have to cook it even more. When I was a kid, I liked the floppy bacon, and I've totally switched up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch up. Oh, switch it up. I'm gonna give you the place, and you have to give me the dish. Washington, D.C. You know it. You want a blind? Or you want choices? Breakfast in Washington, D.C. What are those politicians eating up there, over there? Uh, That's my blind guess right there. I think. Hash? <laughs> yeah. I think they're. It's legal. I think they're eating pancakes because you need some carbs to kind of sit through and get through a meeting. Obviously, my answer is not correct, but I'm talking about corned beef hash. Hmm. No, you were both incorrect. I will give you choices. Grits, chilaquiles, or avocado toast? I guess it's gonna have to be, man. They wanna be the South. Grits, that's what I went with. I would have gone with grits as well, but it's avocado toast apparently. Ooh. I think we're talking about everyone who's not a politician. I think the politicians oh. are eating grits. You know, you go around Washington. Nobody else is there. Washington, D.C., and you see all the young professionals that are all sharply dressed. Yeah. Eating avocado toast. It's, it's a dog eat dog world out there. It's a, it's intimidating. I don't, I just don't like the vibe. I'm not, I just don't like the vibe of D.C., sorry. Alabama. Chicken fried steak. Waffles or pancakes? Chicken fried steak is obviously very popular in Alabama, but would it be the number one dish? And what was it other than pancakes? Waffles. Waffles? Waffles or pancakes? Mm -hmm. Waffles. I went with pancakes. It's waffles. Yes! And they are also the most popular breakfast item in Mississippi. Waffles, huh? Well, I, yeah, I was thinking you got, you know, Waffle House. Yeah. That's really it. I could okay. do some Waffle House right about now. We have time for one more. We I'm going to give for you one more. I'm going to give you a choice. Do you want to hear about New Mexico, North Dakota, or Maryland? North Dakota, definitely. Okay, North I'll go with Dakota. that. North Dakota. Do you have a blind guess? 
most popular thing in North Dakota. Yep. Um. I just said sausage. I said omelet. Hmm. No. Okay. Give us some uh, cinnamon roll, biscuits and gravy, or French toast. Cinnamon roll, biscuits and gravy, French toast. Hmm. Biscuits and gravy. That's... If it's cinnamon roll, I'm gonna make a trip because I like those people. I didn't. I didn't know if I would like them, but. If that's it, I know I do. Well, there's not many to like. I mean, there's there's like seven people in the state. Um, but I think they're all eating cinnamon French roll. toast. It's French toast, which is also the most popular breakfast item in Delaware and Minnesota. You know what? Good Some doctors have six pockets. I don't know what I'd do with that many pockets, but I sure do want them. <laughs> I mean, she should be the spokeswoman. She's good. She's she really good. She should be the spokeswoman. She's really getting into a rhythm. And so are we, 20. Enter the 2021 Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway by September 17th for your chance to win one of three extraordinary prizes, including $20,000. Visit mythical.com for details. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited.